I heard if I say subscribe and hit that like button, the algorithm will push my videos up to more people. Can you help me see if that's true? I wanted to wait until I had the original dogs again, but then I decided this guy deserves a video of his own. This is studio series Darker the Moon Bumblebee, except this one is actually a knockoff. Couldn't tell, could ya? What about now? Yeah, this release comes with a whole crap of pointless accessories. The bottom mask is so undescopted it doesn't even look like his mask. But here comes the hammer, which is actually an awesome accessory for other figures. And here comes the best accessory of his. The forearm blade, it doesn't even reach past his hand. His actual accessory is, it's kinda lacking, not gonna lie. I feel like this part is too big. I like the whole gun forearms, these two came with more. Also, here's his backpack. I do like a cleaner back, but the gap also reveals how actually structured his body is. This panel really makes it the illusion, but that's in no way a negative. I love me structures and armatures. It really makes a robot feel like one. And the, the whole toy is in no way a negative. I thought it sucked as well. I had Cyberfire B, and I wasn't thrilled when this guy came out. But once I got him in hand, I got it. Despite its actually few flaws, it's a very solid toy. Quite literally too. His plastic for being a knockoff is top notch. It's hard and dense like it should be. He's very accurate. I'm still not quite fond of the front wheels just sticking out like that. But I'm not sure how they could have made them go on his back like they should. And it's something the original Mactech toy suffered from too. Even if the wheels didn't stick out as much as on this guy, I've come to acceptance. And peace with these, even though they absolutely get in the way of his shoulders, which is a negative. You kinda have to work around them and hinge his shoulders down. You can also hitch the wheels to help with posing, but that doesn't mean he can't hit his most important poses. It's kinda dumb that one tab limited his knee band, but nothing a pair of clippers can't remove. Another very inconsequential nitpick I have, which is more of me just pitching about is located on his thighs. These two pieces are parts of his back wheel arches in the camera mode, and thing is, Part of this cut piece is right here, so the intake vent faces up. On the MacTech, the vent pointed forward, and this difference bugs me more than it should, because who cares? It looks the part, and functions as it should. Another very minor and inconsequential thing I wanna point out is the forearm panels. They're supposed to be sprayed out, but that looks dumb. I love his legs, I wanna gush about them for a minute. Specifically the way they transform. When you transform him for the first time, the way his shins transform blew me away. The whole world also spins around at both the waist and thighs, and then his shins fold around his thighs making the whole back end of the Camaro, and then the shin panels just fold inside so elegantly. It does result in the back bumper ending up on the outside in the robot mode, instead of the inside like in the movie. But is it really that rad? That's still way better than MacTech, ROTF Deluxe, 2007 Concept Camaro, Ultimate, there I say even masterpiece to a degree, although the back bumper was just a piece of the cable behind his actual calves. On studio series it's an integral part of his shin. His foot connects to his back bumper. And for some reason I love his ankles. The whole area. And that's still a lot a lot a lot better than what human alliance did. Like bruh. What the fuck is that? It's like his shin's supposed to be swapped. I suppose the last night deluxe does the back bumper the best by having it on the inside. Now onto the alt mode and it's quite nice. And the Kia company has left and even painted the Chevy bow tie. Another company waiting for a lawsuit. I kinda wish the stripes continued onto his trunk, but oh big deal. You can also remove the spoiler, from which I cut the middle two tabs for a more accurate look. It's like that one release of Conquer B. Sort of wish he was 143 scale. Just a bit too big than what I wanted. And since I I do have the 143 scale Camaro, we can compare the two. And so this series actually holds up great. Minor difference include the side view mirrors, which I can only believe are more aerodynamic than stock. The side vents, the obvious spoiler and the body kit, and the Camaro badge is replaced with an unpainted Autobot logo. And there is no fuel cap, boo. Other oddities are the lack of this weird step. Yeah, this is an awesome underrated deluxe, definitely worthy of a pickup. I do recommend the knockoff not because it's cheaper, but because it comes with more stuff, and he's called way better than either the ROTF, 07 or the 15th anniversary pack. You can go now.